was it an immediate thing that you knew that a mistake had been made or? Well, no, I was unconscious and they were doing open heart surgery to save my life. So I don't really remember much. A couple of days later, it was my family that, that really suffered the first initial um, wave of emotions. It was a couple of days later and I really didn't get it. You know, what we're just starting to realize now that these conversations are being had is the, the full impact to patients and families and clinicians when this happens. So, you know, me, the patient, I was in a state of shock. I was, um, I really couldn't even get my mind around it. It took a long time for me to kind of really get what happened, and that was months later. When it comes to my care, uh, I know my husband second guesses himself all, all the time. Patient or family member is, they automatically do the should have, could have, would have. They automatically feel guilty and they look at everything they did. Could they have pushed harder? Could they have uh, advocated more? That's just an, I hate to say that, but it's a normal part of the process, you know? You know, I think Jim Conway often says it. You know, there's me, I want to be a true partner in my care, and then there would, would have been, he, my grandfather, he passed away this year, but he would have been a person that would, would want no part in being part of his care. Do what you have to and just tell me what I need to do. So I guess it's up to the individual, and that's what we need to remember. Everybody has different needs. I just wanted to say whether you're a patient, a family member, or a clinician, you know, when things don't um, go according to plan um, and you don't have the best outcomes or you, there's a medical error, know that there's going to be an emotional impact, but know that there are places to get support. Patients and families, you know, um, you know, you will be impacted. You know, I know I felt a struggle. I lived. They saved me. I shouldn't, you know, I shouldn't be having feelings. I should be grateful, but, you know, we're all human and we have feelings. So get support.